I think the workforce shortages are certainly um, something that, that all constituents are dealing with right now. The workforce shortage um, comes up in nearly every conversation that we have at the Higher Education Regional Alliance. And of course, you know, that involves the M7 region, those seven counties that surround Milwaukee. Um, and we've been coming together now for a, a year and a half uh, on a monthly basis to think about these issues and how we can join forces and make a bigger impact. We know these issues are, are too big for any of us to tackle alone. And I think that the, the biggest takeaway is we know that this is not going to solve itself and we know that we're going to have to partner, um, all of us, in order to address it. Oftentimes, especially in higher education, uh, you know, we've been known as attracting that, that talent uh, of 18 to 22 year old. Um, and, and we do that really well. And then we know we have to broaden our recruiting pool. So right now we all have the places where we typically recruit. And, and we know that we have to look differently and think differently about how we recruit. We've got to think differently, not just about the traditional model of how we teach, but also the, who we're recruiting. And so we need to be thinking about geographic regions, but also our, our demographics of you know, outside the 18 to 22 year old and how we recruit as well. Maybe the other thing uh, I think that our employers need to be thinking about, you know, are, is um, uh, the, the changing demographic and the changing mindset of the young people coming out of colleges today. And so, uh, you know, we can talk about it generationally uh, and, and we can and, uh, try to stereotype them in the generation uh, uh, Gen Z, Gen Y. I see uh, every day our students and they're um, uh, energetic and they're enthusiastic and they've got big hopes and so forth. But they are different. There's no question about it. Young people today are different and what they want in their employers are different. And so our employers now more than ever are going to have to be flexible about meeting the needs of this young workforce that's out there today. So I would just um, add that to, to the mix, that our employers need to be flexible uh, and, and make sure that they understand the generational differences uh, of the workforce today.